Owen. Hey, comedian Felipe Esparza is in town performing tonight and tomorrow at the Comedy at the Carlson. Uh, first, he's here. Look at that hair. I, I love it. <laughs> Look at that hair. It's so like. I was at the movie theater last night and some woman thought I was Aquaman. <laughs> she thought you were Aquaman? <laughs> I said, yeah. She goes, yeah, if you drank all the water. <laughs> So I just got my fish fillet and walked away. You got your fish fillet and walked away. Uh, welcome to Rochester. Welcome to Rochester. Felipe, have you ever been to Rochester? I've never been to Rochester. I, I, I just uh, performed at a military base like an hour north of Syracuse. Okay, yeah. A while, like two yeah. years ago with okay. Finesse Mitchell. Yeah, and so now you're back, but this time you're doing your own show. Yes. You've headlined for years for, for big names and out on the road. You won uh, NBC's uh, Last Comic Standing. Um, congratulations, you've done so much, but now you are you. You are Felipe. It's yeah, all Felipe about Felipe. Esparza. Yeah, yeah. What do I people... won last coming standing, you know, I won $250,000, but um, the next day my son's mom filed for child support. <laughs> Funny she, how that happened. She became the last baby mama standing. <laughs> about you because you have a fascinating background I mean talk about you know you grew up in East LA yeah. uh, in a tough neighborhood yeah I grew up in a gated community the windows were gated the back door <laughs> was gated. everything was gated right what one time that? the burglars broke into our house and they couldn't find nothing to steal so they woke <laughs> us up to make fun of us <laughs> the police showed up they made fun of us they looked around they were taking notes wow they took everything here <laughs> making fun of you. That's how poor you were, right? So you were one of, what, nine kids? Eight girls uh, that I know of, seven kids. Wow. And I was, I was the oldest kid, and I have one sister, and she grew up like a tomboy, you know? She used the restroom standing up like a husband. <laughs> she wore hand-me-downs that were all men. Oh, oh, my gosh. It's better to wear man hand-me-downs than women hand-me-downs. Why, why? Because you don't want to be like that guy that's oh. standing in line with... with um, Apple bottom jeans. And, yeah, boots with the fur. Yeah, yeah, or a you're sitting there with a with a female pants, you yeah. know, the zipper in the back. Yeah, right. Yeah, you don't want that. No, you don't want that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, you <laughs> you you poke fun at your life. You're being honest, right? You you, you make fun of life in yes. your life growing up. When I was a kid, they used to make fun of me because I used to stutter. I had like a, a well, now it's called a speech impairment. Impairment. In, Speech impairment, but when I was a kid, it was when I was a kid, it was. Habla bien, tartamudo. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Did you really? Have a stutter? Yeah. So I would take these. I would, they would put me like in a different class to talk slower because I would talk too fast. Well, the, but all Latinos and Hispanics yeah. talk too fast. That's but what I would we do. Talk slower. Okay. But I would talk too fast that like you don't know what I was saying. All you hear was vowels and no consonants. <laughs> like, I oh, I. I. <laughs> Okay, seriously though, well, there's nothing serious, which is what I love about you, is that you you have so much fun up there. Well, coming up, I want to talk about your recent um, um, ancestry DNA experience, because I heard you had quite an experience. But don't don't tell us about it just yet, because yeah. I want to. This is good. All of you at home, you know, you did those uh, uh, ancestry DNA. Well, so did Felipe, and find out what he found out next. <laughs>